Good evening, Chris and Sarah. Now the governor is headed back to Sacramento. I gotta tell you, the mayor here couldn't believe that he would actually take the time to come down and visit this town. We got uh, all kinds of videos to show you. In fact, the governor devoted a good chunk of his day reaching out to people devastated by the two big earthquakes, as they refer to them here. 6.4 on the 4th of July, 7.1 last night. He visited a trailer park, which was especially hard hit. He met with city leaders and agencies that will help the people and this area recover from that one-two punch and hundreds of fairly powerful foreshocks and aftershocks that they've had to endure. I asked him what he saw on his tour of this area and about meeting with people facing a very difficult recovery. Uh, 7.1, I can't even imagine. Look, we can't be complacent. Remind people this all the time. My first, one of my first meetings was, Governor, I got sworn in. I said, we need to prepare for an earthquake. And this is not being precedent. This is just being a historian. It's a very predictor of the future is the past. Take a look at the damage that store owner Abdul O'Day is dealing with. Thursday, 6.4 broke bottles all over the store. Last night, 7.1 did even more damage. On top of that, shortly after he closed because of the damage last night, somebody cut the power and broke in, stealing the cash register and hundreds of scratchers. O'Day has spent most of his life in Ridgecrest and can't believe somebody in his community would target people when they are already suffering due to the earthquake damage and loss of business. Yeah, it's it's shocking. It's it's unfortunate that we're in a small town like this to have the 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 people take advantage of each other. You know, that was more that that was hurtful for us. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily me personally. It was more for the the way they would take advantage of the community as a whole. And he said uh, the big loss, about twenty thousand dollars for him, and most of that is not covered because he doesn't have earthquake insurance. He does have regular insurance, so the burglary will be taken care of. Reporting live from Ridgecrest, Greg Mills, CBS Two News. Sarah.